Hiya. Today I'm sitting down to sign. I haven't signed for for a bit actually. Before Christmas? I don't know. It's February now. What is it? Late February? Mid to late February? January's always a write-off because it's school holidays. So yeah, I think I think it's been a while. Um, padding, pattern testing today. T -t 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 testing? Pattern testing today. It's an Australian designer. Um, I don't normally like for some reason like pattern testing with um fabric but this has only got three pieces like three pieces one two three it's a bucket hat and there's not really that much can go wrong in it but um i want to support this designer i think they're going to be actually really good over the years so i'm going to be using daleks and some tardis fabric which where's the other piece of my tardis fabric here I've already cut out the circles and roughly cut out the interfacing, kind of. I cut it out big and then I trim it. And now I'm on to, what am I doing? The brim. So I need two, two in the outer fabric and then two in the lining. It's reversible, so the lining, but you know. And then two in the interfacing. And then I'm ready to pin and cut it. Like this is not a, like a, technical pattern but it's just you've got a few curves you've got to make sure you've got enough fabric for <laughs> and I didn't cut my feet my rectangles the same so now I'm just trying to make sure I can get it on there all right so let's cut this out And just to clarify, what I said before was a bit weird. I don't like to pattern test with fabric, meaning I don't normally do clothes and stuff because this tends to be a big, uh, sometimes the, the boo-boos can be great when you're pattern testing. And I normally pattern test knitting and crochet stuff and bags, um, which is what I meant by fabric. But this is not gonna be too hard. This is just, you know, you can't really go wrong with this shape. So that was just that. <laughs> Sometimes, do you know what I mean? I, I have foot and mouth disease. I've got no idea what I do half the time. But here, here I am. I've actually just cut two different size pieces because I can't be, I don't have the space to cut things out. So let me show you what I'm cutting out on. Here I'm cutting out on my table and I've got the fabric jammed in down here, trying to fit it onto here. And look, I've got this two different shapes of fabric. Uh, wouldn't it be nice to have a cutting table rather than like, you know, the kitchen table, the tiny space. But anyway, that's what I'm doing. I've only got this piece to go and I've got to get some interfacing for this piece as well. So last night I sat on the couch and I pinned everything together. Um, I've pinned the top of the hat to the side of the hat or the crown. And then I have attached the brim to the crown which is that you know the length of the hat it seems to be quite deep but yeah that'd be cool um i actually pin sideways i started to pin it so it was um hang on so i started to pin so it was at like this all the way around but oh my gosh i kept getting stabbed so i turned it around and i actually and i couldn't get it to fit in that way but when i did it sideways i got it to fit in so that is the internal or the lining remembering this is actually reversible but this is the one that's got the interfacing on it so yesterday being the hottest day of the year of course i need to get the iron out and put the interfacing on so i did that at night when it was a little bit cooler and then this is the exterior actually kind of like little um hang on this one more so it's like a little tub <laughs> but now i've just got to sew that figure out my seam allowance and um i think it's three eighths of an inch so where does that take me here oh, here 
there I can see it all right so I'm um, three eighths of an inch and I shall start sewing and then I don't know what I'm up to next so where's the three eighths that's I don't know why they don't do the three eighths all the way up it's that line there all right I can do that so oh, I can't get the needle out Whoa. I'm gonna sit flat Oh, did I tell you it was day two, by the way? I don't know. I can't remember. Yesterday was so hot. So like it was last night while I pinned all this. So now I've got two empty empty hats. Now I've got to put this is where I always get confused. You put the inside, the outside to the inside, and then you turn it through like that. Does that make sense? So you got your inside and then you put this kissing each other. Well I call it kissing, huh? So you put, let's just do a test. So you put the two pretty colours to each other. Let's just pin it to see if it works in theory. It doesn't, I'm not lining it up properly. Because then you sew all the way around the edge where I pinned. And then you leave a gap like here. And then you turn it through like that. And that comes on top. And then that's like that, yeah. You have to do this when you're making trousers and all sorts of things, and it's kind of like I've always got to sit down and pretend to do it. So now I'm just going to line up the seams. Where's the seam? There's a seam. Oh, I forgot to open the seam up. Oh, well, it don't matter. So where's this seam? Seam to seam. Okay, where's this seam? Oh my gosh, where are you? There you are. There's a seam. Pin it. Not according, pin it to the, yep. Yeah. Okay. I know. I think one of the reasons why I film myself sewing is because it gives me an excuse to talk to myself. Because otherwise I'm just a person here sitting here talking to my pieces of fabric. <laughs> Which is a little bit lame. But anyway, I might also just take my time and do this. Oh, hang on, I opened this seam up, but not the other one. No. Oh, I don't know. This is well, I'm not actually paid seamstress. Okay, so then you just got to go through and make sure. It, oh man, I hope it's the right size. I'm sure it's my cutting that will be the problem. Yeah, that fits there. It's just going to look so cool. And ironically, I actually have brown, th well, gold thread on my sewing machine um, from a different project. So I don't actually have brown thread, but this kind of like gold in the Daleks. So that is going to have to do. But I do need to change my bottom bobbin, bottom bob, bottom bobbin, bobbin before I go because it's almost out. And I've actually been getting into my overlocker lately because do you know why? The number one main reason why is why, well, sorry, two reasons. It's faster. You can zip along and finish something so fast. And second is there's no bobbin. So you can do as much as you want. If I was not, if I was actually just doing a pattern hat for myself, I would probably do all this on the overlocker. But I'm actually, because I'm pattern testing, I'll do it on the sewing machine. But now it looks like it fits. But now I'll just change the bobbin. I don't know if I've got any thread. I do. So we'll change the bobbin and sew it. And I've almost done. Yay. Actually, someone asked me how I changed my bobbin. So, well, you know, every machine is different. And I always, always, always have to refer to the picture. I've been using this machine for like 20 something years or probably 30 something years and I still have to refer to the picture to make sure that it's going the right way. I 
and then it's done. All right. Now the magic of making it look weird before you make it look better. Oh, I made a boo-boo. I've put a bit of, can you see? Oh, that's really hard to see. It's not gonna matter, because that's pretty much the lining. All right, let's see. All sort of fits. It's not too bad actually, except I want it to be this way. Okay, so I want to top stitch it as well. I, need, I think I'm gonna, oh, whoops, it's a thread. I'm going to iron it before I top stitch it because I'm gonna iron this, um, this the end. What's this called? The opening? The end, I feel like the end. I'm gonna open, iron that closed because it's on a curve so that will help it make it go round and it'll help it finish a bit better. But other than that, what do you reckon? It's looking like I've got my hair in a bun, so, but I've got to iron it so this piece is underneath like that. Okay, so a bit weird because, you know, you're not supposed to wear it with a bun. But it's actually pretty cool. I'm making it for my son. So, time to get the iron out and do some ironing. Or maybe some lunch because I'm looking at the time because I'm hungry. I shouldn't have to look at the time to know that I'm hungry. So, I might as well just go make myself some lunch. Turn the sewing machine off officially. Have some lunch. Iron. Top stitch. I think that's about it. Oh, I can actually run a couple of stitches, if I want, you can run a couple of stitches along here um, to help flatten it, I don't know. Um, I'll see what it looks like when I've got the top stitch on um, and make that decision from that, but yeah. Okay, lunch, ironing, and then it'll be finished. It's actually a really quick project. I just didn't get it done yesterday because oh, it was so hot. So hot, yeah. So that's the opening, which is a bit funny, but I will fix that. Okay. The last step, top stitch. Let's see how even I can get this. Finished. I ended up doing, um, where's the multiple top stitches so that's what it looks like on the bottom so outside or inside outside outside inside i guess it depends what you want to wear it to my preference is for the brown i really like the brown i mean daleks are the favorite what do you even like doctor who like are you a doctor who fan did you grow up with doctor who or are you go fan someone in your family like doctor who you have to tell me in the comments below because I grew up watching this. My kids absolutely love this show. I have a 13 year old and a 10 year old and they've been watching it for years. Um, we just absolutely love Doctor Who in our house. Um, my daughter dresses up as a Doctor Who um, evil character every year. This year she was a, last year she was a, um, a weeping angel. So let's see what it looks like on Oh, I like it. Do you know what? I have a um, largest hat, head, um, and um, I'm actually hoping my son won't like it because then I can keep it. My son and I fell into the same size range. Oh, look. <laughs> my son and I fell into the same size range for this, so um, it's going to be a little bit looser on him. But I could probably even put my hair back up and have it with the bun. Let's see. Does it go over? Oh yeah. Oh look, actually fits over. Anyway, when my son comes home, I'll see if I can bribe him for a 
a model but otherwise i'll just take a nice photo of it you might not like it being a teenager now but anyway um i did it i love it and if the pattern goes through because sometimes that people um designers do pattern tests but they don't release pattern maybe they change their mind i don't know for whatever reason but um if this goes through and they start selling it i will actually link this in the comments but or in the description below but i'm really pleased with it so you have to tell me if you're a doctor who fan in any case hit the like button because yeah you stuck to me this far hit the like button and then even maybe hit the subscribe button all right See ya.